Hi there, I have a couple of announcements for MGear. So the first one is that MGear 4.0 beta, it's available, so you can download it and try it right now. The big difference is that this one, it's uh, full, uh, I've been full refactored to M Python 3 and should be working perfectly with uh, Maya 2022. So you can see here, I have a Maya 22 open and I built just a, the first arm, just as an, an example. And you can check here on this system, if I print this one, that it's uh, 3.7. So all the tools, everything should be working as expected, like the Gen Boost and everything like all the, the menus, so but it's still a beta, so if you find any, any bug or any problem using it, just let me know please, because this is the point of the beta, it's just to fix and to smash bugs. The other thing that I want to announce today is that we have a new way in how the uh, joints are connected. So you can see here, I have this uh, sample of MetaHuman that I downloaded with uh, Quixel um, Bridge, and this this character when you load it in maya it comes with already a set of joints that uh, take care not only on the facial that is what is well known for the, this this character with amazing facial setup from trilateral but also like it comes with amazing or really really nice uh deformation on the body using all these uh, gimmick joints and the rbf solver from unreal engine so you can check here for instance this one you can have here the i mean you have the drivers there so you can manipulate this um this arm and you will see all this deformation happening here and keeping all the volumes and everything so that's great but obviously you don't have the rig you need to to create a rig on top of these joints there is where it comes the new update for m gear so basically i have here the um this uh, biped template that it's basically the same that you can get from uh, shifter guide templates and the epic metahuman template the only difference is well first i have adjusted to the um, to the position of the joint so i just use it the snap tool and little by little i just snap it all the, the things and symmetrize uh, in the future it's gonna be like one click solution probably i'm gonna use the same import and if you find uh, i mean if in gear finds you have the these uh, um, joints loaded already in the scene it's gonna automatically snap or ask you if you want to snap automatically or something like that or maybe it's gonna be a separated command somewhere else anyway so the point is you will not need to do this manually but for the moment you need to snap manually okay and the other change that you need to take in account if you want to try that uh, this I um, mean this you know at home is here on the naming rules I use the joint extension to DRD that is the driver joint that we are using here because we have a different set of joints one are the the ones that are directly Anim animating or uh, modifying the geometry or deforming the geometry and these ones are the ones that drive everything so this is the driver and you will have this when you load it um i just edited this scene so it may come with a namespace so maybe you need to remove the namespace from here but if you have it like here like uh, root and you see everything it's uh like without namespace and with the drive extension and with the default um template that we have on the biped for uh, metahuman so you just need to build right now and in gear instead of create a new joint if he finds that joint on the scene it's gonna connect automatically so i'm just gonna build and i think it's before you had to for instance or export the skin in or uh, reveal later and things like that but if you do that here you're gonna lose all this nice deformation that you already have on the bodies so to avoid that we just now can connect directly and this will work with uh, metahuman but will work with any other rig that you have that maybe you did it in a more traditional way where you created the joints first and then you want to add the the rig obviously there is a compromise there then the naming convention should be something that you can set in mgear contrapart or the other around the um also the the structure i mean if you you have different structures that doesn't match any component in mgear obviously it's not gonna find a matching joint but if you do like especially here in metahuman with the speci uh, special uh, design epic components and the, the template you will see that everything match when you snap and right now you just have the rig so you just can move i'm just gonna give my parallel evaluation here and you see everything is following i can articulate my character the, the sp 
kit and the uh, the the rig for the amount of control that you you have it's 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 really good i think facial and obviously everything is working and we have here or fun fantastic uh, facial rig and all the rbf everything is working as before but you have the layer of the mgr the shifter rig to manipulate your character right now so i hope you like it and please report if you have any bugs and see you in the next video bye bye